now that we have some objects in the game we'd like to to have these objects uh, move about um, let's say in our mission we want a two-seater to take off and do a reconnaissance mission and we want our player plane to intercept it okay so here we are in this airfield and let's say this airfield over here is an enemy airfield so let's put the aircraft there let's go to planes select the DFW C5 put it here turn it around uh, say create linked entity double click for the advanced properties country is Germany okay oh by the way something useful to know if you move objects around they tend to to, uh, to keep their vertical position so sometimes they, they show up it's not completely on the ground there's an easy way of fixing that click on this little button here set on ground and it will, it will automatically align the object to ground level at that point okay here's the German aircraft now let's see how can we make this aircraft take off and fly around and, and land again well to do that we need waypoints waypoint is a uh, position where the aircraft will fly to and if we make a number of them and connect them we can create a path for this aircraft to fly through. Okay, waypoints can be found in this menu, MCUs. There are all kinds of commands, translators and triggers and waypoint is actually a trigger. It's on the bottom of the list here. Click once and click again here. This is the first point we're going to have our aircraft fly to. Uh, let's set up this waypoint because there's a number of things to configure. First, the altitude. We want the aircraft to fly around at say 1500 meters. So let's go here again, this box, same as with the balloon, and type in 1500. Then let's double click and we have some more properties. Priority. This is interesting if the priority is set to low then the aircraft will go to this waypoint but it will if it sees any other uh, threat or interesting object it will go there instead now because it's a bomber it will always follow these waypoints but a fighter if you set the uh, trigger waypoint priority to low if it sees another aircraft uh, you know uh, somewhere in the distance it will go to that other aircraft and attack it instead of following the waypoint if you select medium it will always follow the waypoints through except when the aircraft is attacked and if you set the priority to high no matter what happens the object will always follow through the waypoints okay so normally you will use medium goal type is not is not uh, important right now got area this is the area where the uh, yeah within a certain radius of this waypoint where the condition will be met so that the aircraft has actually reached that waypoint. Normally I set that to around 200 or 250 meters. And the speed which tells the aircraft which speed to fly. Let's say 135 kilometers an hour. It's quite a slow plane. And you'll see a little circle which tells us the, the radius I just, uh, just entered. Okay. I've got one waypoint. Now I have to to tell the game I have to to connect this to this object so I'm going to hit here find object click on the aircraft we see a green line and this is the um, the line that tells us that this waypoint belongs to this object now we can do this we can repeat this whole thing a uh, number of times and create a path but the easiest thing to do is now select a waypoint hold left shift and click that we see a new waypoint appear already connected to the aircraft again and again and again and left click anywhere and it will be deselected and then you can still move them about and arrange them the way you like okay this looks good we have a path the aircraft will 
once it, it gets here it will uh, trigger off this waypoint and it will point to this waypoint that will trigger off and so on and so on until it gets here